I will immediately reissue my 2020 executive order restoring the President's authority to remove rogue bureaucrats, and I will wield that power very aggressively. Donald Trump, an authoritarian. I get it. I get it. We got to address the elephant that's not in the room. <laughs> the leader of our country is not here. And that's because he lives in Moscow. It is a very long flight. It'd be hard for Vlad to make it. Vlad can't just make it on a Saturday. It's a Saturday. As for the other guy, I think he's in Pennsylvania because he can't take a joke. Hassan Minaj, a comedian who takes aim at the elites like the former president. We're gonna do an executive order day one. So important, ending automatic citizenship for children of illegal aliens. And when it comes to non-white people, Trump despises them. I would say it is an honor to be here, but that would be an alternative fact. It is not. Uh, no one wanted to do this, so of course, it lands in the hands of an immigrant. It's how it always goes down. No one wanted this gig, no one. I don't care if you had good marks, but I, I just like to see place of birth, three colleges, place of birth. I'd love to see what, you know, perhaps it's gonna say Hawaii. Perhaps it's gonna say Kenya. Getting low is a Trump staple. You know, a lot of people told me, Hassan, if you go after the administration, it would be petty, unfair, and childish. In other words, presidential, so here we go. <clears throat> I get why Donald Trump didn't want to be roasted tonight. By the looks of him, he's been roasting nonstop for the past 70 years. <laughs> Historically, the president usually performs at the correspondence dinner, but I think I speak for all of us when I say, he's done far too much bombing this month. So Minaj met him there. I love golf, I think it's one of the greats, but I don't have time. 250 rounds, that's more than a guy who plays in the PGA Tour plays. Obama ought to get off the golf course and get down there. There has been nothing more hypocritical than the former president's golf game and the amount it has cost American taxpayers. Now, a lot of people in the media say that Donald Trump goes golfing too much. You guys are always like, he goes golfing too much, which raises a very important question. Why do you care? Do you want to do, do you want to know what he's not doing when he's golfing? Being president. Let the man putt-putt. Keep him distracted. Teach him how to play badminton. Tell him he has a great body for bobsledding. Play him tic-tac-toe. The longer you keep him distracted, the longer we're not at war with North Korea. Every time Donald Trump goes golfing, the headlines should read, Trump golfing, apocalypse delayed, take the W. Minaj, however, sees it far differently, and he kind of has a point, doesn't he? Prime Minister and I also discussed ways we can deepen our trade relationship based on the core principles of fairness and reciprocity. Take Trump's speech and choice of words into account. I love that everybody's drinking and having a good time. This is beautiful. You know Donald Trump doesn't drink, right? Does not touch alcohol, which is oddly respectable. But think about that. That means every statement, every interview, every tweet, completely sober. How is that possible? We've all had that excuse, haven't we? We'd be like, I said, what? No, listen, babe, I swear to you, I was hammered. That's not who I really am. What does Donald Trump tell Melania? Listen, babe, last year on that bus with Billy Bush, that's exactly who I am. <laughs> he tweets at 3 a.m. sober. <laughs> who is tweeting at 3 a.m. sober? Donald Trump, because it's 10 a.m. in Russia. Those are business hours. A fair point on the no drinking rule here from the comedian. It is surprisingly respectable. Steve Bannon was a man who operated on the dark fringes of Amer America's far right, proudly calling Breitbart the platform for the alt-right, a platform that wrote headlines like, would you rather your child had feminism or cancer? And political correctness protects Muslim rape culture. He allegedly objected to the number of, his words, quote, whiny Jews at his daughter's school. Bannon reportedly suggested disenfranchising black voters. He thought that might not be such a bad thing. 
He said he wanted women who lead this country to be feminine rather than a bunch of... a word I will not say. He warned that the US could turn into the Islamic States of America and repeatedly promoted an astonishingly racist French novel called The Camp of the Saints that warns of a brown migrant invasion of the West. On this guy? Now a lot of people think Steve Bannon is the reason Donald Trump dog whistles to racists. And that is just not true. Ask Steve Bannon. Is Steve Bannon here? I do not see Steve Bannon. I do not see Steve Bannon. Not see Steve Bannon. Not see Steve Bannon. Not see Steve Bannon. Minaj speaks truths through comedic deliveries. African elephants are listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. The policy would affect President Trump's both adult sons, Eric and Donald Jr., um, who are longtime trophy hunters who've repeatedly posed for photos with dead animals in Africa. A 2012 picture of Donald Trump Jr. in Zimbabwe shows him standing in front of the corpse of an African elephant holding a knife in one hand and a severed tail in another. The kids were also not off limits. Now. For the nine people watching on C-SPAN, there also was another elephant in the room, but Donald Trump Jr. shot it and cut off its tail. He's been a tremendous champion of, of supporting families and enabling them to thrive in the new reality of... I certainly heard the criticism from the media, and uh, that's been perpetuated. Uh, Including Trump's favorite child, Ivanka. Now, Ivanka Trump isn't here either, and I wish she was. Because if she, if she was here, I would ask her the question that we're all thinking. Why? Why do you support this man? Because I get it. We all love our parents, but we wouldn't endorse them for president. <laughs> like if someone's like, hey, Hassan, should your dad be president of the United States? I'd be like, my dad. Najmi Minaj? The guy who tries to return used underwear to Costco? <laughs> no! Fair points all around here. Later today, I will have the honor of visiting Dr. Bethune's home and paying my respects at her gravesite. On former Education Secretary Betsy DeVos. Now, it's not just the president who decided not to show up. His entire administration is not here. Betsy DeVos couldn't be here. She's busy curating her collection of children's tears. Now, a lot of people think Betsy DeVos is out of touch with working class America, but you listen to me and you listen to me right now, okay? Every morning, Betsy DeVos is up at 5 a.m. putting her children on their flight to school. So don't you tell me. She's out of touch, okay? Minaj calls out her and the DeVosses who have a net worth of over $5 billion. Full disclosure, Chris, you mentioned the president's situation. I'm, my wife uh, isn't a member of the teachers union, but I got to admit, I'm, I've been sleeping with a teacher for 38 years. On former VP Mike Pence. Mike Pence wanted to be here tonight, but his wife wouldn't let him because apparently one of you ladies is ovulating, so... Good job, ladies. Because of you, we couldn't hang out with Mike Pence. Our hearing today hardly introduces Senator Sessions to the committee. This dude wasn't off limits either. Jeff Sessions couldn't be here tonight. He was busy doing a pre-Civil War reenactment. On his RSVP, he just wrote no, just no, which happens to be his second favorite N-word. Caution, you are about to enter the no spin zone. The no spin zone is no more. Bill O'Reilly, the controversial face of Fox News for 21 years, was fired today by the network he helped put on the map. Nor was Trump favorite Fox News. Fox News is here. I'm amazed you guys even showed up. How are you here in public? 
it's hard to trust you guys when you've backed a man like Bill O'Reilly for years, but it finally happened. Bill O'Reilly has been fired. But then you gave him a $25 million severance package, making it the only package he won't force a woman to touch. Now, in O'Reilly's defense, he was told by a close friend, when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. You guys are having a hard time with Jesse Waters right now, too. He's on a break right now, right? He's on a break. Just like my childhood dog is staying at a farm upstate. I get it. I know that move. Now, I know some of you wondering, Hassan, how do you know so much about Fox News? Well, as a Muslim, I like to watch Fox News for the same reason I like to play Call of Duty. Sometimes, I like to turn my brain off and watch strangers insult my family and heritage. Before we jump into it, if there are any stories we missed, if there are any that you would like to submit, get at me and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, DMs are open. And please, if you can, become a channel member here at TYT Sports and or go to tyt.com slash join. It is pretty interesting how the paradigm has sort of shifted over time with those who are in more ways than one uh, dismantling the country cannot face the music against professionals, comedians like Kassam Minaj and others. And it's interesting to look back at this and just see how all of this is consistent through the years that we have had to endure as a country. My hope is that they do face the music or at least not imprison the people for making jokes.